Cape Coast African Holocaust Dungeons. Female slave judges. Of course, the woman had a punishment cell. Let me show you the female punishment cell. Oh, wow. Nobody got Nobody. And this is where the dwarf no return path that was been blocked. And that was a path that led out uh, to the boats that stole and took our ancestors away. Okay, so this is a female punishment cell. And uh, in a female dungeon, you know there are two female dungeons. In each one of the female dungeons, we are as many as 250 African women. The 250, each one of them, that means we are 500 women in a female dungeon. Now, this is a punishment cell for the African woman. Now the English colonizers will walk through the doors and you know, they went out there to sexual abuse the African woman. However, there were, there were some African women in the female dungeons who did not allow them. They tried to fight back. Now all the African women who tried to fight back for their freedom and right were brought in here to be punished. They punished. Yeah, was sanctioned. There used to be a very big door right here. Close the door. This is where the African women were menstruating, dedicated here, the half naked. This place was here. Let me show you something. You don't have to come, just with me. Now, look at my hand on the window. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. Now, because of the language barrier, you know, the African women couldn't speak English. They go very tasty, very tiny. They just come closer to the veins. The veins of the door. Of this in kind of body language in order to gain the attention of the English colonizers. The moment an English colonizer sees that, he already knows what a woman wants. He will just come closer to the door, open the door, give her some food and water to eat and drink. After she's done eating and drinking, he will then abuse the cell and take her back to the field of dangerous. This cell was not a modern cell, it was a minority cell. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to use this one. 
and hopefully the light is not too bright. The English colonizers will come here to sexual abuse the African woman because of that. Anytime the African woman in a female dungeon saw them coming to the doors, all of them will run to a corner in order not to be selected. Because once you have been selected, they will bring you forward and perform some physical exercises to find out if you are on your menstrual period or not. If you don't find any blood, that means you are not. You will be taken outside the sleep camp. The dungeon will, will clean you. Sexual abuse you because of that. Many African women got pregnant. All the African women who got pregnant in the female dungeons were taken outside the slave castle to give birth. The African women didn't give birth to dark skinned babies like me. They gave birth to mulattoes and mulattresses or light skinned babies. Europeans then employed a very weird psychological tactic. They refused to give African names to the light-skinned babies. Names like Smith, Viala, Van Dals, Johnson, Wilson, Peterson, we give it to them. Now those children were educated in the church on the top of the mill dungeon. That church served as a school also. The first schools in Gold Coast are called castle schools. Many women were brought back here because the English colonizers thought they were no longer beautiful. However, some of the African women were left outside the slave castle not as free women, but as prostitutes. The women really suffered. Now, those children were not transported to the Americas. Their fathers, but the colonizers, educated them here. They were the very people who grew up to become interpreters slave merchants, traders, and many more. They were never proud to be called black people because they had some kind of privilege. And that brought a very weird discrimination. I am not black, you are black. You look like a monkey. I'm a human being. Your father is a slave. I'm superior to you. When you go to Jamaica, the same thing is still going on in Jamaica, even in the US. Yes. Yeah. Still going on. Colorism is still going on. Yeah. Nothing has really changed. Eu Europeans are very manipulative and very crafty people. Oh, yeah. You know, they'll use your yeah. own people against you. Mm. Your own people. Mm -hmm. It works. Yeah, it works. Sure does. Now, let me take you to the door for return, please. Mm. Just the door. And also, we have another cell over there. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's another female dungeon. We, 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 we can have a look. This family, as you can see, a whole lot of cells slash dungeons. So this was like an extension of the other one? No, oh, they are both female dungeons. So. 250 in each one of them. There are only two chambers for the African woman. The African men have five chambers. But it's still the same. Female dungeon. This, this is the other female dungeon. Yeah, only two female dungeons. And the female dungeon is much closer to the door of no return. Um, I'm going to show you the door of no return. Listen. 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 Listen.